Hey, I'm Austin with Gun Test Magazine. Today we're out here at Tactical Firearms in Katy, Texas, taking a look at high capacity shotguns. This one right here is the Actol 1919, it's an AR style 12 gauge, five round magazine in it right now. Today, had a lot of problems after the mandatory break in period, the manual tells you of three to four boxes of high velocity slugs. We ran through six boxes of high velocity slugs, still had feed issues, still had ejection issues. Otherwise, Pretty good gun. Taking a look at a Red Jack Sega. Had some issues with this one with feeds, injections. It jammed up a lot coming in from the magazine. The machining on the inside has a lot of sharp edges that catch the shells and they kind of mangle the shells so you can't use it once it jams. The stock is a folding stock, but it takes a mallet to knock it down to get it to fold back. Paint wears off very quickly, and the machining on the charging handle, the weld, it's very rough. There's a lot of sharp edges there, so if you catch your full hand on it, you to cut yourself. This is a kel KSG. Good looking gun, first of its kind with the bullpup design, 15 round capacity. Today we've had a lot of problems with ejections, It does the action doesn't grab the shell to eject, it gets stuck in the chamber, it'll try to feed two shells at once, and working the actual pump sometimes takes a lot of force to really get it to come back and work the action. Another problem we've had, I'm going to bring in the second one here, and the plastic pump breaks where the bars that drive the action are. So if you take a look at this one, you'll notice that the bars have broken off of the pump. So this, right now, is a scrap piece of metal because you can pump it all day and you're never going to feed any shells. And finally, we come to our favorite in the test. This is a standard Sega. Comes out of Russia. It's made by Izmash. Right now, we've got a 30-round drum milled aluminum magazine on it because this is the only one that would cycle all the way through without a misfeed. We had two misfeeds the entire time, and that was the first shell coming out of the magazine. And we can tell us the spring in the magazine is pushing too hard. We had no feed issues, no jams, no ejection issues other than once we put the drum magazine on there. Cycle's clean, recoil's not too bad, it's a solid firearm. So, I'm Austin with Gun Test, thanks to Tackle Firearms for letting us use their range, good shooting.